Hey everyone, so this is 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Coinas Collection, struck on a 75% nickel, 25% copper planchet by Philadelphia Mint. Circulated 5 cent at very fine condition if graded by Sheldon scale. Mintage is more than a billion. It's very obvious that this specimen had been in circulation for a long time. Surfaces are massively abraded, flans are slightly damaged. Around the lettering and the edge of the whites we see bold haziness extending like a stroke. Two large marks show up on Jefferson bust. Medium softness is evident on the hair part of the profile. Strong concentration of seaweed hues catch the eye around the date. When we turn it over, at first glance we witness a dye fatigue which caused a very weak strike. Not only steps but most central elements of Monticello are flat. Also somewhere is evident on high points or lower letterings, color exhibits several nicks and dents of various sizes. So this coin is worth just a nickel. The 1964 Jefferson nickel is very common since the mint produced over a billion of them. However, quality is an issue when this date as most coins were struck in MS64 condition or lower. In MS65, they are scarce but still easy to locate with minimal effort. In MS66, they are scarce with probably less than 1000 in this condition or higher. In MS67, it's really scarce with less than a handful known. At mint stage 67, they are worth over $5,500 today. This is one of the finest specimens that giving great, impressive, fully struck superb gem displaying satiny luster on both sides and full steps on Monticello. Sold in 2019 for $9,400 at legend rare coin auctions. And this is the most expensive 1964 specimen so far, also graded at mint stage 67 full steps by PCGS. The strike is excellent and swirling champagne and ice blue hues further heightens the appeal. It ended up selling for $14,100 in 2014 at Heritage Auctions.